Hello, everybody. I'm Watch Holly. I'm going to show you how to be a speedy editor. I was in the industry for about seven years. I did everything from uh, musicals to movies. Well, I guess movies are musicals. Uh, and television and shorts and commercials and reality TV. So I was kind of in it for a while. There's been a lot of updates in Premiere Pro specifically. So bear with me. Um, but I haven't edited about three years specifically professionally. But it's okay. I'll teach you some things that I do that hopefully can be helpful. Uh, key shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts are going to be your best friend. We're going to use Adobe Premiere Pro for this one, but you don't have to use it at all um, if you don't want to. There are three different kinds that I would suggest people looking into. There's Adobe Premiere Pro. That's what we're going to do. Adobe is, let's say there's like the make and model of, of cars. Adobe is the make. The model is Premiere Pro, uh, just like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe After Effects, things like that. Different programs, but they're all over um, like the Adobe umbrella. Uh, we also have Final Cut, uh, which is fine but i don't love it it's definitely not industry standard either uh, but what's great about that is that it um, is a one-time payment and then you can have it forever when adobe is a monthly payment issue with final cut is that it is only for max i'm pretty sure it may have changed in the last like three years uh but before it used to be only for max the last one is DaVinci Resolve that I suggest everyone should do if you don't want to do Adobe. I think Adobe is super, super great. And I would recommend just having like the, the Adobe cloud and getting everything because it's so, so useful with Photoshop and After Effects and everything that you do as being a content creator. But if you don't want to do that, uh, the free version of a DaVinci Resolve is really good that I would suggest uh, only because it's free, but it's also a great user interface. It started off being a um, color correction but they also added editing with it as well too and audio and kind of just like everything that you needed one. So I would suggest that if you don't want to use this. Uh, you can also do Stream Ladder, which is super helpful to edit all of your TikToks so you don't have to like really get in the nitty gritty and learning all of this. Another thing that you can do, and that's free unless you want to sign up for like the, the gold and the platinum or like whatever. I Yeah, it's like $60 a year or something a little ridiculous. Uh, but it could be better than Adobe and it is cheaper. So, all right. The other thing that you can do as well, too, is literally, let's say, like, I just want to raise my volume up. Like, you don't have to bring up Premiere Pro to do that if you don't want to. You can go on Google and be like, raise my volume, enter, and then something will come up. And like a website is like, oh, like, just drag your audio clip on over and then you can download it with a higher volume. I'll do, I'll post a few in the description below if you want to check it out, but they're super, super easy. You can download YouTube videos. Um, you can do audio trimmers. You can do volume, vo volume. Like there's lots of things that you can do by just like Googling and convert to a PDF, compress. So you don't actually have to have a like an Adobe to do that. All right. So I'm going to quick show you uh, what I do for video editing i have this handy dandy look at my keyboard so you can see i kind of propped it up so bear with me it's like super wobbly uh but maybe i'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it oh that's so much better isn't it <laughs> why didn't i think about that okay so yeah so you can see like all the keyboard shortcuts that i do um and i made it so it's hopefully easier to see since i like propped it up but bear with me it is kind of like sliding off it's just a notebook and some dad jokes <laughs> like i swear look okay anyway <laughs> So this is Adobe Premiere Pro. This is my best friend. I've used it for a long time. Um, I'm going to quick delete this because this is my second take doing this because I thought about this and I'm excited about it. Anyway, all right. So let's, um, you, you got your project. You have all your footage that you've already recorded. Uh, you have your audio, you have your music. So you're gonna drag everything in this project. I labeled it raid video. You don't have to label it if you don't want to. Um, we're going to start from here specifically. I am not a, I'm an ADHD editor. I am in it for the speed. I'm not necessarily in it for the organization. If you are doing a long form content video, please organize your clips. Please label them. Do it first because it'll help you in the long run. For me, I don't do that because I just want to be really quick and edit just like this short a raid video. I know what I'm looking for. I know my clips. Oh my God, look at my face. Ah, uh, and yeah, so I, I feel comfortable not organizing um, <laughs> in the slightest and I apologize. But if you want to organize, um, you can see by pressing this doohickey, new bin, it'll show you a little bin. And that is a, a, a bin is a folder. So you can make different folders. You want to close out of this. Um, 
you can close the panel up here. Anyway, so there's the project where we bring all your footage in. So let's say I'm going to rename this to footage. Perfect. Amazing. I'll click out of it so it doesn't um, add another bin on the inside of that. And then I'll do audio. Amazing. So that means we can now drag our footage in there and then drag our audio. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. It's right here. I'm silly. <laughs> Didn't even see it. All right. In the audio. And then now, yay, we have audio that's in there and you can organize it however you want. That's the same with your sequence. If you look at these little like icons. So that's the little icon to, sh to show that you have used this video. This right here is the sequence, that little icon. So don't confuse your sequence with your footage. I always like to label my sequence by clicking right here and then I can label whatever it so I know what I'm working with. If I have multiple sequences, I can do that. So uh, we're going to work in this raid video right here. Ignore that it looks red and scary. We're just like, going to ignore that. That means offline media, but it's just because I deleted something and it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, so we're going to take our uh, footage. I'm going to double click on it because I want to review it. I want to look at it. What does this do? Uh, so this is me being a silly goose and oh, there's me flexing. That's exactly what I want to put in my raid channel trailer. So what I'm going to do, this is the first thing I'm going to teach you is I'm going to do I. And that makes an in and out point. You can see I kind of have one highlighted already, um, but we can drag the in and out points wherever we want. But I like to use keyboard sh shortcuts because it's so much faster. So I'll do I and O, do that, perfect. And then I can drag it into the timeline, which is super convenient. Thank you, user interface and how easy it is. Uh, I'm gonna press plus and minus on the keyboard to zoom in. You can also use this, but that's, that takes more time and I don't like that. So plus and minus is going to be your best friend as well too. Um, I'll teach you a little bit more. I usually um, have my, how do I have my hand? I usually have my hand like this actually to edit on the plus and minus and then I'll do whatever else. I can change all my uh, cursor to different objects, but I'd rather press uh, keys on the keyboard just because it's faster instead of searching for it. If you hover over it, it'll tell you selection tool V. So that means I can select things. Uh, razor tool C, I can cut whatever I want. I have to go back to V to select it. Do you see how it changed? And then I can hit delete backspace or delete the delete key to get rid of it. I can change it all. You guys know how to do this. I feel like this is super like you guys, it makes sense to you. Okay. So I'm really going to kind of fly through this. So we have our very first video. Now I'm going to do something different. Here's this. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. I said breakfast. I'm going to do in and out. Uh, I'm going to drag this in. The blue means it comes, the blue audio down here, it means that it comes with the audio, the visuals. Sorry, dyslexia is sometimes hard. Uh, but if I have, let's say I'm having whatever audio this is. Okay, so I have that audio. That is external audio. It doesn't come with any visuals. So that's going to be, ooh, green. I'm going to make this a little bit uh, shorter. Perfect. Um, I don't know what we're doing here. We're not making anything specific. I'm just trying to show you like the fastest way to kind of like go about things. And there's going to be someone that knows more keyboard shortcuts. There's a lot of editors that only edit with their hands. Bop, bop, bop. And it's super fast. But I mean, I still like to use the mouse because I'm a silly goose. Okay, so I'm going to mute this so it's easier. So we don't have to hear me yelling and don't have to hear the music as I scrub through it. But this is your scrubber. We're going to hit play, which is spacebar. And we can watch it. Oh my gosh, look at it. That's amazing. It's going to stop at the end for us because that's the end of the timeline. Anyway, so let's do one more. I'll scroll down. Oh my gosh, look at me being a silly goose. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's probably somewhere over here. Yeah. Oh, this is the infamous clip. I'll take head. Love that. Okay, so now we're going to drag that over here as well, too. I can adjust the music so it fits. Something that is super useful for me highlight all the audio and um the well if you highlight the audio the visuals will come with it as well too but if you do Control shift d it's going to add a cross power uh, to your audio which is super super useful so it's kind of like up like oh like instead of starting the audio off just like super loud it's gonna do a nice fade and then it will cross fade between these audio clips as well too. Don't worry if it's too much, you can change it here. 
which is super useful. So usually I'll, I'll do something like this. I'll have all the crossfades. Uh, a lot of time what you'll see people do, which is very true. They can do this. I, it's just is slower. Uh, P is going to be your best friend with uh, video editing as well, too. P, what does it stand for? P a pen tool <laughs> that's going to um kind of control a lot of things but that's going to control your audio do you see this line right here i can move this line wherever i want that's the volume you can see the decibels coming up um so that's that's the volume there i'm going to use the p tool to kind of make a gradual fade out and there's the visual representation do you see that here that's like oh it's fading out which is nice so i have oh you won't be able to hear it because i muted it so i'll have do you see how it kind of faded out? It's kind of quiet. You can't hear it very well. That's okay. Um, I'll turn it up a little bit so you can in the future. Uh, but that just takes so much longer. So I don't really want to do that. I'd rather control Z. I don't know if I've told you that it works the same way. Thank goodness. Um, so I'm switching every single time back to V because that's going to be my select tool. Um, anyway, if I want to do that with the visuals as well, too, guess what we can do? We can do, I think it's control D. I'm so sorry if it's not. Yay, it's control D. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Ew. So this also creates a cross dissolve with it as well, too. And you can also control it the same way. So that's going to be uh, amazing. If it's at the beginning or end of the clip, it's going to do a fade from black, which is super exciting. Thank you, Premiere Pro. I'm going to control Z that because I don't necessarily need it. Um, if, let's say, you're pressing... Well, let's take this off and see what happens when we press control D, control shift D. Perfect. You can see that and it's super, super useful. Uh, what you can also do is you can also, let's say I want to move my audio um, separate from my visuals and I want to delete just the audio. It, the, it's linked, which is super annoying. So I'm going to right click on this and then we're going to say unlink. And then so now I can delete my audio if I don't even want it there. Or I can right click and disable this. Do you see how this is enabled? Now it's disabled. It's still there, but it won't play at all. So you can hear breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm silly. Okay. Anyway, so you can do that as well too. If you want to link them back up again, that's okay. Just link it. Now it's linked. Amazing. Perfect. Wow. This is an amazing channel trailer. Look at us go. <laughs> uh, okay. So what else do I want to show you? The snap tool is going to be super helpful. Snap tool is going to be great. Let's say I have this amazing uh, video of, oh my God, it's whipped cream. I promise. Uh, in and out. So look at my dog. Try and eat it. Oh my goodness. Anyway. So now I'm going to drag this and it's going to snap. Wait, sorry. It's not going to because I undid it. Uh, it's going to snap. Do you see? It snaps. Snap, snap, versus, no, do that. I can go wherever I want. Do you see kind of like the fluidity of it? I really like having the snap tool on because I don't like accidentally editing and cutting off. When you overlap it, it cuts it. Do you see how it just like disappears? And I'm like, oh shoot, I now I need this to start here. And maybe I want the visuals to start the same time as the audio. I'm gonna do the snap tool and bam do you see how it snaps there super super convenient so i really work with pluses and minuses and then another thing i also work with as well too j k and l j k l just kidding <laughs> um sorry no no uh j is to reverse your clip k is to stop and then l is to forward the more that you press it the faster it goes so i'll press it once l nice here, I'll do it here so you can see it and it's a longer clip. So here's this one. I'm going to press uh, space to play. I'm going to press L to go forward. It's like kind of fast, but don't worry. Look, I'll press L again. Oh, it's a little bit faster. You can see how fast it's going right here. L again. Oh, now it's really speeding up. Oh my gosh. What's going to happen? Uh, now it's like super fast. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think it only goes that fast. Okay. So now it's going to say stop. K. Okay, now it'll stop. Okay. Wait, I missed something. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to press J. And now it's reversing. You can see it here, but it's like, it's going to find about a speed, but I can press it more and then it'll go faster and faster. And then oh, stop, decay. Um, you can also press space bar to stop and start. That's actually what I normally do. So yeah, so that's kind of how you create the project itself. Where this thing go? So let's do a quick like TikTok video, okay? Um, one, I have 1920 by 1080. You can make your sequence whatever you want. Sequence settings here. 
Um, TikTok, I'm pretty sure, is actually 1080 by uh, 1920. If I hit OK, it's going to be like, hey, hey, just so you know, like the, the these videos are not formatted for this. So it's going to like make it a little funky. That's OK. It's fine. Bam! TikTok video. If you want to do, um, I'm going to control Z that. If you want to do Instagram or something, sequence setting, it's going to be 1080 by 1080 because it's a square. Hey, hey, whoa, the videos aren't meant for this. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Now it's a square. Perfect. Okay, so let's do a quick TikTok video. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this setting, um, this sequence, so I'm not confused in the future. I'm going to do right click and then duplicate. I'm pretty sure you can copy and paste it, though, at the same time. Yeah, all right. Uh, I want to show you where the duplicate, though. Duplicate right there. So you can duplicate it or you can copy and paste it. So now this is uh, raid video two. I'm going to click onto it and then make sure what you have to show this. Otherwise, if you don't click onto it, you're editing the very first one. So now, perfect. We have raid video two. Let's edit this first little section for a little bit with for TikTok. Okay, so I'm going to make sequence settings. Do you remember what I said? It's going to be this is the frame size, horizontal and vertical. This is actually 1080 by 1920. I don't really care about anything else here. I just care about the um, size of it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to um, zoom in. We have effects controls. We have scale, position, motion, everything here. If you don't have that, uh, Windows is going to be your best friend. So you can add certain things. You can see your history. You can see the clip info to see the frame rates, which you know, we probably won't. Um, I'm editing under the editing section, but you can also change it if you're working for, let's say, uh, captions. That's there. Um, effects or graphic or whatever it's it's all here i'm doing it in the editing section because i don't know that's what i've gotten used to anyway so now we have uh the effects control we also have um effects down here hello did you see that uh effects down here as well too which i'll tell you exactly uh, i'll tell you the, actually the difference now so the effects here is showing you everything in the video itself and how you change the video. The effects tab here is um, the actual things that you can, the actual effects that you can actually add to the video. And then you control the effects here. So don't be confused when you see effects and then effects control. Um, so let's say, do you remember that cross dissolve uh, constant? That's, uh, yeah, cross dissolve. There it is. Constant power is for audio anyway so cross dissolve remember that earlier we can just add it to the video put it in the center and then that's our fade noise i'm gonna control z that because i actually don't want that for tiktok okay so i'm gonna mute this so it's not so loud and you don't hear it so now i'm going to zoom in and move it here so let's say that i move around a lot okay so this is actually a perfect one to do so I'm going to copy and paste. So you can do the up and down arrows. Do you see how I did that? To like kind of like go through it if you don't want to use the, the JKNL and unzoom and see where you're at. Anyway, okay. So we have to have these things toggled on just so you know, not all of them, but it tells you where it's going to post uh, paste the video if you copy and paste. So if this is copied, if this is selected down here, we're going to paste the video that we just copied down there it's gonna it's gonna paste it there uh anyway okay so what we can do is let's say we want to see this entire clip i'm going to control this top one so it's it's a layer i feel like you guys would know what this is but anything on the top you're gonna see first it's the same with like photoshop it's the same with canva or whatever anything on top you'll see first anything on the bottom it's going to be underneath of it this is the visual representation of that so uh, now I'm going to zoom in because I'm using the effects control. Do you see I can zoom in on this? I want TikTok to be able to see this entire clip, but it's kind of hard to like uh, see like because it's not blurred out. You've seen that before. Now we're going to go to the effects because this is the actual effects. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm going to do Gaussian blur. A Gaussian blur is like the best one personally that I feel. Gaussian blur. I'm going to drag that onto the video underneath. And then now I can control it control the effects over here. You can see Gaussian blur. Now I'm going to make that blurriness just a little bit. I can make it however I want. I'm going to make it like, I don't know, there. It doesn't necessarily matter. So now TikTok will see that whole clip and I can like, 
It doesn't have to be. It can be like this. I don't need to see it. Um, I don't know, right? So a lot of people will do that as well too. This will be helpful as well to give you a little bit more context and your TikTok's uh, caption will be down here as well too. And maybe you'll put the... Um, the actual audio captions here as well. You can wherever. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have uh, kind of created our TikTok video. So let's say I'm going to play the game and I want to show how to uh, show the game and also my face as well too. This is the same concept as I'm going to copy, move this up, paste it underneath because I need the game and the visuals at the same time. So this is going to be the game. I'm going to zoom in so it kind of keys out my face. I'm going to put my face actually over top. Do you remember how to unleak clips on link? Because I don't Yeah, I'm going to put my face on top so it kind of overlaps the, the game. There's my face. I'm going to zoom this in. Perfect. So I can do something like this if I want to super, super easy. But let's say like I want to actually like key out the game or something. Let's say I want it to be. I don't know. Do you see how the bottom is still there? This I chose a black video. This is so hard to see. I apologize. Do you see the, the bottom is still there and the sides. Um, so this is, isn't going to super, super work for our, uh, for this. But don't worry, I can fix it. We have opacity and I can create a four point polygon mask. Masks are going to be your best friends. Um, so I can actually move this to wherever my camera starts and ends, which is super great. And I don't have to use a crop tool or anything. And then bam, there it is. And I, I would like use it better so it's not like crooked or anything, but this is quick. Then now I can put it up here. It doesn't matter. And you can see uh, the game and my face at the same time. Ooh, ah, amazing. Did I teach you um, Q and W? That's actually going to be super useful as well, too. So let's say we want to um, end this a little bit sooner. This is Rashid. Hi, Rashid. Uh, so let's say, I'm going to listen to this. What does it say? You, dude. They'll enjoy anything. They'll enjoy anything. And that's going to be the end of the video. I'm going to press um, W. So W cuts everything to the right and Q cuts everything to the left. So I'm going to do W. Wow. It cuts that. Um, well, actually, that was an exception because it, it couldn't cut right here. So if I like locked that, I'll it'll cut the whole thing. But it, it kind of got confused because um, the audio, it couldn't cut any more of the audio, so it stopped cutting the video. Anyway, so you can lock tracks if you want to, if you don't want it to cut something. Anyway, um, so, and that's the same with the W. So I'll press, um, or excuse me, that's the same with the Q. So I'll press Q and everything will get cut into the last cut. Does that make sense? So this is going to be the same thing. If I press uh, Q, it's going to cut all of... Oh my God, I just actually pointed instead of showed it with my pointer. Um, it's going to cut all of this, but then it's going to stop right here because it cu can't cut any more of that, whatever. Does that make sense? Okay, anyway, so the W and the Q is going to be super helpful for you as well too. So do that and then I'll do that. Yeah, that's super helpful for me at least specifically just like editing. Here, actually, I'm going to show you um, something else that's actually kind of useful as well too. So I'm going to copy this one. Let's say I want to do... The same thing with this clip. Sorry, I'm going to mute these again so it's not super loud. I want to do the same thing with this clip. So I copied this. You can also copy the, the motion and then right click, paste attributes. And this little thing will come up and it'll show you like, hey, what ex what do you want to paste? I want to paste the motion, which that's the position and scale. And I'll say, yes, please do that. And then you can see it pasted the exact same thing. My camera moved from the last clip to this clip. So, but if you have the same camera angle every single time, then it's going to be easier and you don't have to do as much editing. Uh, and sometimes maybe you'll just have to like move this a little bit. And then now it's perfect because the um, opacity mask is still around it. And I love it. So that's going to be the same thing with this down here. So let's copy this, right click, paste attributes. I have no audio attributes, so none of that is selected. I'll hit OK. And then this is going to be the same attributes as the one before. If you look here, you can see they're going to be the same, bop, 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 even though they're different clips. Uh, but I'll probably have to like move this 
down a little bit. There you go. Yeah. So it's not it's not for sure if your camera angle changes all the time or if your game changes all the time. But if you play the same thing over and over again, then it's going to be super useful. Um, or if you have just like your widescreen, where's the other one? Something like this. That's going to be super useful to add the blur. So just copy and then paste it. And yeah. OK, so that's going to be kind of the strat. Um, so we learned negative and plus. We learned V so you can select things. We learned J, K, and L. J to go backwards, K to stop, L to go forwards. So I did W, Q. I did, um, obviously, oh, I did this, where you highlight all of this. We want to have um, crossfades. All right. I think that's um, how to be a speedy editor. I think that's it. I'm not quite sure if I'm forgetting anything specifically. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. This was like super speed kind of. There's a lot of things that could necessarily go wrong. <laughs> I'm so sorry if things aren't specifically like, like, why is this happening? It won't let me drag in the audio. Well, whatever. Like just uh, comment below and I can answer all those questions for you. You guys know how to export. I'm pretty sure this is like kind of how to edit quickly and on the go. So yeah, that'll be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, ask any questions down below and that's it. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all later. Now I'm going to edit this video. Okay, bye.